Cushing's syndrome occurs when your body is exposed to too much glucocorticoid. Cortisol is the glucocorticoid produced by the adrenal glands, which are located on top of each of your kidneys. Cortisol works with other hormones to regulate your reaction to stress. It also helps control your metabolism, reduce inflammation, and regulate your blood pressure, blood sugar, and sleep. Medications for asthma, lupus, and rheumatoid arthritis can increase your glucocorticoid exposure. However, this type of Cushing's syndrome often goes away once you stop the medications. Cushing's syndrome can also occur due to a tumor in your pituitary gland or adrenal glands, or from a rare type of tumor in your lungs or abdomen or other locations that causes the adrenal glands to produce too much cortisol. When the tumor arises in the pituitary gland, this is known as Cushing's disease. Complications of Cushing's syndrome may include bone loss, high blood pressure, high blood sugar or diabetes, infections, loss of body mass, and muscle weakness. If you think you have Cushing's syndrome, be sure to seek care from a healthcare professional experienced in managing this rare condition. Signs and symptoms of Cushing's syndrome include bruising easily, stretch marks on your midsection, weak muscles, thin arms and legs, fatigue, confusion, depression, and anxiety. You may also experience unexplained weight gain and an increase of fat around your face or the back of your neck. Since many of its symptoms are common to other conditions, Cushing's syndrome can be hard to diagnose. An endocrinologist, that is, a healthcare professional who specializes in hormone conditions, can provide the support you need. There are two basic ways to diagnose Cushing's syndrome. One, your healthcare professional can take multiple samples of your saliva and urine to assess if you have increased cortisol levels. Or two, they can perform a dexamethasone suppression test. Once the diagnosis of Cushing's syndrome is confirmed, then imaging like CT or MRI scans are performed to look more closely at your pituitary gland or adrenal glands for tumors. If you have Cushing's syndrome, your healthcare professional will work with you to create an individualized treatment plan. Plans usually involve surgery as first-line treatment. If surgery does not result in remission, then medications and or radiation are considered. Your treatment plan could be a combination of these options to reduce your cortisol and manage symptoms. Cushing's syndrome can be very challenging. By working with your healthcare professional to execute your treatment plan, you can improve your health, well-being, and quality of life. To learn more about Cushing's syndrome, visit ace.com slash Cushing's syndrome. Support for this video was provided in part by Zeras Pharmaceuticals, Corcept Therapeutics, and Recordati Rare Diseases. 